Boys and girls, today we're going to try to make some pop art to look in the way that Andy Warhol would make. There is pattern in the background and also in the cone of the ice cream, uh, ice cream cone. You will need two sheets of paper. You're going to need some markers. Notice I have two oranges and that's because one of my oranges is trying to die and I can't remember which one so I just got two of them just in case. You are also going to, are going to need a pencil, an eraser or a pencil with an eraser. My eraser is not very good right now so I'm getting this spare eraser. You're going to need a black crayon and you're going to need some other colorful crayons without their um, label. Alright and then you're going to need something to create that texture background. It was a bag of oranges, I believe, that I got at the grocery store. Thing with some kind of texture on it, okay? So you can do, use your crayons to do a rubbing for your background. For some of you in kindergarten especially, this is gonna be a new technique. It's called transferring an image. Um, for most of you though, in first grade and second grade, we've already done this. Um, that's the way to do it during this coronavirus uh, pandemic that we're having to go through and makes everything complicated and there's really not much Miss Garris can do about that as you should know. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, our image that we're going to transfer is our um, ice cream cone, okay? Remember, um, we're using simple lines and shapes. That's another thing with um, pop art. Usually the image was very simple. The simple, the more simple the better. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we've got to fold our paper. You can notice that, look, four sections, four equal parts. All right, as you can tell, mine's not perfect, and his was not perfect either. Um, he used the process of screen printing, which is um, difficult to do and um, not everybody has those supplies, so that's why we're doing it this way. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our papers. Okay, we're going to fold both of them one at a time. So let's take this one, set this one aside over here, and we're going to fold it in half. Meet your edges. Kindergartners, you may need a parent or guardian to help you in this process. Fold on that line like that, so we fold it in half. And then we're going to take this half and fold it in another half. Okay, so we want four equal parts of our paper. So I did that one. Okay, and so now I'm gonna do this other one. Now we're not gonna use all of the paper on the other one unless you're dissatisfied with your image. And then you've got more space to, to draw it like you want it. Pull this one in half again. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try, try. All right, so there we have that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold it and it's gonna leave us our lines for us to know where to put stuff, which is good, okay? One, two, three, four, four equal parts. And then one, two, three, four, four equal parts. All right, so we're gonna set this one aside because this one is gonna be our actual work of art. This one we're gonna to use to put our image on to transfer. Now, when, th when thinking about ice cream cones, um, the cone is actually a uh, triangle shape, so we're just gonna make a simple triangle that's pointing down. Make sure and do not go all the way. See this line right here? You don't wanna go all the way to that. Triangle. Okay, and now we're gonna add our ice cream on top. We're gonna do a single scoop because that's what we have room for. So I'm gonna do, this is where it's usually coming over the edge. So I'm gonna do some curved lines right here. And then I'm gonna do a curved line up here. Make sure that you do not go all the way to the top of this. You want to leave some room from the top and the bottom. Then we're gonna do our pattern on our waffle cone, um, ice cream cone. We're gonna do some diagonal lines going this way. Try to space them out about the same uh, amount of space in between them. 
Okay, and then we're going to go diagonal lines the opposite direction this way. Same thing, try to space them out about the same amount of space. So this is our image that we're going to transfer. It's simple. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black crayon and we're going to trace over this image. It's okay if it's not perfect. Because this one, we're going to use um, actually the one that we do on the back side, that we trace on the back side. Because I want my image to be this away. So I'm going to flip my paper here in a second. I'm going to flip it half like this, this side down on this way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to trace. As you can see, you can see through that, which is one of the reasons why we used our crayon, so we could see through it easily. This will be the side that we use to um, transfer onto our artwork paper, or other piece of paper. Alright, there we have that. When I unfold it, look at that, you can see that it did transfer there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to use, but we're going to transfer this side. Now we're going to take our paper that we're actually doing the artwork on, and we're gonna line it up like this, and then trace over, pushing down with your crayon. Now, I'm gonna transfer every one of them, so I'm gonna line my folds up with the middle fold and then the fold right here. Line that up and transfer the image again on this side. Now, we're done with this part, so this can be thrown away or whatever. All right, now we're going to decide about our colors. Okay, four ice cream cones. Now is where we're going to use our markers, and we're going to color inside the cones, and we're going to color the ice cream itself that is on top of those cones. Don't do your cone the same color as your ice cream. That'll look kind of crazy. All right, for this one... Now, I'm going to choose yellow for my cone because yellow is across the color wheel from purple, which means it's 
the complementary color of purple, which means they look good beside each other, not mixed. If they're mixed, they will make brown. Dry before we go over. All right, since this is a dark color and blue is a dark color, I'm gonna make them diagonal across from each other because that will give our artwork more balance. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna use orange because orange is the complementary color of blue. Okay, let's see, next I wanna do Yes. Okay, for this one, let's do yellow. I just won't do the, the cone purple, I'll just do it some other. For my cone, I'm going to do this light blue. Okay. Now we've got all of our ice creams colored. And now what we need to do is we're going to outline that black line that we do with our that we transferred. So we're going to take our black crayon. this vegetable netting or fruit netting. Okay, and we're gonna simply spread it out. Put this on here on top of it like this, flatten it out. And we're gonna use our those naked crayons that we needed right here. Now, what I wanna do is I want to use a color that is, try not to use a color that you have in here like um for instance i think i'm going to use green on this background and i'm just going to take all right for this one i think i'm going to do red that way it's primary colors really Okay, this one, I think I'm gonna do, let's do the orange on this one. All right, now for this one, I'm gonna do blue. Hope you enjoyed making it. See you next time.